this is known as chalazian forcep this is very important this is used for the correction of one condition this is known as uh, uh, i that is that is chalazian chalazian is type of cyst which is and this particular forcep is used to stabilize the eyelids and provide hemostasis hemostasis during surgery on the eyelids so they also protect the underlying globes during cryo surgery when suppose any small growth is there in eyelids so you are interested for the removal of, the, of that particular growth and you are interested uh, you are interested for the removing that particular eye growth by using this uh, cryo surgery if you will apply directly cryo surgery over eye what what will happen there will be damage of eye so this portion will you used to keep below that uh, 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 tumor portion growth portion and then you apply cryo surgical method so this is known as cryo surgery these are the bennet cilia forcep this is used for the removal of any ectopic cilia there is inversion of uh, uh, cilia inside cornea and the continuous irritation of that particular cilia leads to inflammation of the eye so for the removal of that ectopic cilia we used to have this bennet cilia forcep you think they can you see here you see here this blunt end is used for the removal of that particular inverted cilia and this is capsulorexis forceps this is for the removal of capsule just in this instrument is used for the capsulorexis lens ka jab hum karte hain phaco emulsification method mein then this is uh, used to break the capsules of the lens hum jab uh, lens ko hatane ki koshish karte hain to usme use hota hai this is known as capsulorexis these three are important otherwise uh, the, uh, another one is very difficult this is very important this one this one is so this is speculum this is speculum and used to retract eyelids to allow access to the eyeball suppose you are interested to see eyeball completely then eyelids hota hai that is not possible to see eyeball because eyelids will cover the whole eyeball so uske liye hum kya karte hain this is the speculum this is also speculum so try to remember the name of this instrument also and use of this instrument this is known as i speculum hum dikhayenge aapko ye theek hai na dilator no need to remember this is needle holder particularly used for the ophthalmic surgery this is very small and identification of this uh, needle holder is same you will see a hole in between these two so speculum and this needle holder is try to remember this is speculum and this is speculum i am not going to ask to write this borakar is write the name of this instrument that is borakar speculum and this bilium speculum no simply if you write i speculum to see eyeball this is sufficient for you to do this is uh, dental some dental instruments this is not a uh, you see here एक्सट्रेक्शन आपको मोलर टूथ एक्सट्रैक्ट करना है जस्ट यू आर इंटरेस्टेड फॉर मोलर टूथ एक्सटेंशन यू सी दिस इज वेरी हार्ड स्ट्रक्चर ये बहुत मजबूत होता है दिस वन दिस डेंटल एक्सट्रैक्शन फोर्सेप सो इसको क्या करते हैं हम इससे पकड़ के इसको रिमूव कर लेते हैं तो दिस इज एक्सट्रैक्शन फोर्सेप दिस इज डेंटल एलिवेटर इज नॉट वेरी कॉम दिस इज वेरी ऑस्ट्रियल एलिवेटर ड्यूरिंग टीथ एक्सट्रैक्शन बोन इज आल्सो देयर जस्ट टू एलिवेट टीथ और जस्ट एलिवेट बोन दिस Pointed this periosteal elevator is used for the extraction of either bone or gingiva is there, no doubt. All things just for the extraction of these structures, we used to have this periosteal elevator. And this is the subgingival curette, and this is used for one cutting surface allowing one side by using. Ye in this uh, um, curette, what what is there? One portion is having cutting edge. cutting is some tartar deposition or some food deposit is there plaque is there calculus is there so by using the cutting is of this curette you can clean the teeth and you can clean the tartar tartar deposited over the uh, teeth so this is most commonly used for the uh, scaling at the time of scaling when halitosis problem is there smell are mouth say so it is due to this deposition of this tartar and food debris and all these things so for the removal of this food debris start or deposition we used to have this subgingival curette 
these are the some uh, miscellaneous instruments which is used for the this is vaginal speculum just to examine uh, female of female vagina uh, which vagina because sometimes growth is there if you are interested for insertion of uh, urinary catheter inside the uh, bladder then uh, that uh, hole is urinary urethra is little bit inside the vaginal holes so if uh, by using this vaginal speculum you are able to see that vaginal uh, is that urethral uh, urethral hole and you are uh, you can easily insert any type of catheter in dwelling catheter or suppose you are interested for simply passing baby infant tube inside that but you so by using this baby uh, vaginal speculum you can do your job efficiently so this is very important this is cosco vaginal speculum name of this speculum and this is not a very important thing but if you are interested you remember i will send the already a slide and this ppt will be with you people so at least you should know the uh, name of these and whatever important uh, important things i have pointed out here at least 